Hi everyone, uh, I'm sorry for uh, being away for so long. As uh, many of you know, I have been in Norway now for uh, almost three months. And uh, I have been very busy doing a lot of uh, stuff, so I didn't have much time for crafting and stuff. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, uh, some of the things that I got here in Norway. So, uh, from three different, like, hobby magazines or catalogs, right? Uh, I am asking my husband that is right in front of me. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, one of these is Panduro Hobby. Another is uh, Creative. And another uh, catalog is Sloyd and Detailier. These are, I know that Panduro is in other countries, but Creative and Sloyd and Detailier, I'm not so sure really in which countries you can find them. I have a lot of stuff to show you, so I will get started. Uh, the first thing is this huge box. I got two of them actually, and I think uh, this box is like that. You open it like this, and you have two organizers there that you can open it like this and of course it's the division parts and stuff then sorry for the noise I didn't expect to be so hard to open then uh, in the front part uh, you lift this and here is another organizer here uh, is brand new so as you can see I, I haven't uh, put stuff on it yet and uh, then you open it in the front this is the part that I was showing to you like this and then you open it and here you have a huge compartment for other stuff here's the, the other organized thing box uh, it, I think it's great when uh, you are working in fairs and things like that that uh, you bring these kind of boxes, you put all your stuff in there and you just take it and you go like this. Then I got, <coughs> I'm sorry, I got another box that is, uh, it's the same size I think. Let me check, yeah. It's the same size but, and it's uh, have the same things almost. Hey, let me see, keyboard is bothering. Uh, but the difference is that, uh, let me see, the organizing in the side are the same. Uh, but in this part is uh, a compartment for uh, save your scrapping paper. Scrapping book paper. There. So in this part you put your scrapping book paper. Like this. And then here it the, is with divisions and bigger bigger divisions so I I really wanted these organizers because I I'm, in Chile I was I was working in fairs and things like that and it's always practical to bring this kind of stuff also uh, from Panduro I got a, a set of acrylic paint different colors as you can see but this these are not all the colors so I will show you the catalog I uh, really, I got this one here, that is, uh, let me see, this is the number 5, is uh, 20 ml, uh, um, let me check, is 25 um, colors uh, with 20 ml each, yeah, and it's uh, gloss. So it's a little extra shiny. And also came with some uh, paintbrush and other things there that you can see. So, and the colors are very nice actually. So, and, and I didn't have that much uh, acrylic paint and I wanted to do some projects with it. Also, uh, well, I, I, I got some, um, I have been claying a little. So, Sorry for the noise of the, it's a strange noise that that's the floor, that is wood floor. 
I have been doing some uh, polymer clay things, as you can see. Some uh, cupcakes, like this one. So I have been working in polymer clay, but uh, this is uh, really fast things to do, except for the, these ones. But uh, because this, you have to make it comp uh, all. All the others are molds, actually. A cookie. So, and uh, I got uh, two of these boxes and uh, one with more small compartments, divisions, uh, because uh, I needed more. I am uh, having more and more supplies and not more space for it. Then I got this, that is a kind of the same function as the amazing mold party. This is from Sloyd and Detailier. It's two components, a uh, kind of mass that you put together and then you can take a mold of whatever you want. It dries about five minutes, I think, something. I got that. Then uh, this is uh, two silicone uh, like molds that uh, you can make these designs. Usually it's for cupcakes or cakes, you know, for the this glaze that you put over, but I I want to use it in polymer clay. So I think I perfect, I think are perfect for that so then I got the uh, Fimo extruder uh, I tried and uh, I like it a lot because the other extruders that I had was this that you just like a uh, this like shot thing how you call that Vierna? this for put the shot syringe huh? syringe syringe it look like that something like that so this no this is a lot more easy to work with it's a little too big the the hole uh, where you put the polymer clay but I will see then I got um, two uh, embossing powder uh, it's a uh, black sparkle this nice uh, black glitter color that I use for my resin pieces I got that and I, I got also some tweezers these tweezers I got uh, I think I, I'm not sure if I show it to you this before this kind of dotting tools that I got in Peru when I was in Chile uh, then I got this this is from Sloyd and the Talier there you can see um, these are like a uh, Fimo uh, flowers and I got different like Millifiori I got different kind of Millifiori uh, like this too then it's nice for necklaces and bracelets and things decoration then like eggs oval and here's another one because I always get two of each thing um, fruits like this and circles I have circles like this but I'm not sure if are the same that they had before but the ones that I no I am lying these are from Sloyd and Detailier so are more little and the ones that I already had was from Creative that was bigger but it's like the same design and then I got some uh, glass cupcakes that I thought was so cute. Like this. Then I wanted this for a long time. So I finally have it. it it's the four Fimo tools that you can see there. It's a different kind of tool with two ends actually with different purposes. This is like a kind of a dotting tool or for like delete all fingerprints and stuff from your creations. So this is all I think in the 
Ah, I also got some uh, some kind of uh, tags like this that I thought it was very nice and some stickers but I have no idea where they are so I can't show it to you I'm sorry but uh, the biggest uh, thing that I got is polymer clay uh, Fimo polymer clay because in Chile it's not Fimo it's only Sculpey and I don't like Sculpey because it's too much uh, problem when you when it comes to baking and uh, I set the temperature right I set everything I calculate the how much time have to be in the oven but still my uh, Sculpey get burned so and with the FIMO I don't have that problem also uh, I like more I think in my opinion beginning for the package and everything FIMO is superior it's best it's the best so I I am a huge fan of FIMO clay polymer clay so let me save some of the stuff that I have here and I have no idea from where I took this so I can make a space because I got a lot of them. The colors that I use the most, two whites of uh, 350 grams, 12,34 set. O how you say os? Las onzas? Onces. Onces? Ounces. My husband is teaching me English. Hey. Then red color, I I couldn't get enough, <laughs> and I got a lot. But that's because it was in offer. Actually, uh, uh, this fimo uh, the, from uh, 350 grams, it cost about um, let me see, 300 no 140 crowns. Norwegian crowns and uh, it was an offer so this uh, Christmas red color was in for 40 crowns so it was very cheap so I got a lot of these ones <laughs> I think it's four it's five yeah it's five five of these red ones is something fly away there then I got a uh, five uh, sets of the Fimo effect um, in the pastel colors. I will show it. There are the colors that they have, but I will open it to you. All of them are the same, each of these packages, and it came each pastel color. Also, Fimo changed the packaging now, so it's like that, and uh, it's you, you open it from something like that, and so. I got um, five of these packages. I have some more in, in Chile, but I, I needed more, of course. So then I have, let me see if I find what fly away. I don't think so. No. I have no idea, something fault, but I don't know where. Uh, then I got, uh, let me see. I have some, this, a uh, female professional. This is not so new, but, and it comes in a package of uh, 85 grams. Three O set, <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, I got six of them. Each color I have it already, so based on the colors that I already had, I decide to uh, get some more. So I got six of these ones. We'll put it there. Then uh, I got uh, six um, uh, leaf green color, like this. This color is like uh, olive green. Very also from a uh, female professional, I will lay them there. Yeah, the one that that ran away was one of these ones. 
Then this, uh, that is terracotta, this color. That actually I thought it was another color, more soft, but it's okay. I can work with it. It's like you never get enough. So then let me see. I got some green color. This is tropical green. Some purple. This is Fimo Soft, as you can see. Then some Fimo Effect that will be purple, glitter lila, like this, as you can see, shines. Then I, this is some of the colors that I had before. As you can see, the this is the old packaging. Who it came the Fimo before? Now uh, without now without this part here in the back. Now it's it changed. I I like the new package actually. These Fimos I have them from before. These ones. Um, here is some pastels. This is the old one. This is the new one. Some, um, this is metallic gold, nice, very nice color. This is um, lemon, very, <laughs> it's very shiny, very yellow. Then a granite color, like this, it's like the stone effect. And what I'm going to do now, for don't take this video any longer, I'm going to move this, so I will put the box where I have them, over the table. Let me see. Okay. Let's move the things a little. There. And here is the table with all the other colors that I have. I will lift the camera a little so we'll move. There. This is Sahara. Let me see. This is uh, Sahara. This is, let me see, translucent. Yeah. Two black, two big blacks here. Uh, then the chocolate. Uh, turkeys, the peppermint, okay, here they call them a different names, so I kind of struggle for trying to get the colors that I needed. This is glitter red, red uh, rouge, rouge. Uh, this is fluorescent, glow in the dark, night glow, yeah. Then uh, apple green. These are two pastels that I have from before. Orange. This is caramel. Sunflower. Yeah, sunflower. Um, this is the dolphin, dolphin gray. Yeah, dolphin gray. Then a uh, cooper, metallic cooper, yeah, metallic cooper. Pink, because the pink I use a lot, it's, I think it's the color that people use the most. Then the Pacific blue, and this is uh, emerald. This is glitter white white uh, uh, yeah glitter white but uh, for if you have any questions is the number 052 there you can see then silver I think this is silver metallic silver silver argent is a number 81 there 
then this one that is a uh, brilliant blue 33 and my back hurts sorry for that um, oops this is raspberry and here the the big black colors there so yeah this is uh, so far everything that I have I got until now uh, it's still some things that I uh, bought today but it, it have to arrive in the mail and uh, I don't know how I'm going to bring it to Chile <laughs> because I am we are going back to Chile soon for now um we we must stay in Chile so um I, I I will I will try to do a tutorial but I can't guarantee anything until I've been back in Chile because uh, I have a lot of things to do really I really have a lot of things to order and organize and um, that's why the the table is not very nice because we are not in in our house in our home so well um, we are hoping to move to Norway in the future uh, for good. So for now we are nomads <laughs> moving from one country to another for visiting. But ah, I also got this that is a very nice key ring. I will show it to you. This is with my letter name, Daniela. That's my name. So I. I got it. So, yeah. Um, as I say, I will try to make a tutorial. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um, I have been a little busy and also with not so much inspiration for make a tutorial. So, but I am hoping that uh, soon will come one. So. Please be patient and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.